What can I tell you about Jakob Engstrand? Um, it's interesting. I think a lot of people would describe him as maybe the villain of the piece or a villain of the piece, but um, I think all of the characters in this play defy categorization, good or bad, um, you know, evil or pure. Uh, Jakob has a worldview that is very, very realistic. He doesn't live in the past. He has an idea of what he can do in the future, but it's all based on what he can get in the present. He uses people in situations in ways that um, I never would, um, but I recognize his need for things. I recognize his, and acknowledge and embrace, I think, his ability to move beyond things in the past in order to get what he wants. He's got a vision of what he needs, of how he can make his life better, and possibly how he can make the lives of other people better. I actually think he's a very insecure, sad, and unsuccessful guy who does whatever he can to overcome all of that sadness, um, all, of, all of those weaknesses. What's interesting about my character is that I come in from the outside. And it's interesting, I think you'll find that everybody that comes in from the outside changes the lives of the people inside the bubble. That's why I think it's kind of timely to do this play now. That's why I think it's sort of, um, that's why I think that even if people don't realize it, that might be the thing that touches them most about this play.